You can see me. No, you can't. Okay. So this video is going to be about something that I keep seeing a lot. And it's, I'm going to try and make it a short video because I don't have a lot of space. I don't have a lot of time. And I'm on a phone. Um, because I'm too lazy to go get my iPod, which is right downstairs, ironically. But, um, it's about this whole, like, oh, there's a, there's a gay character in a movie that originally was animated. My theories are this. People are getting better because it's a technically a sexuality being put in a movie that is originally intended for children, which I'm pretty sure if it's like any of the other Disney movies, the original book was probably really heinous, really cruel, really gruesome. I mean, um, let's think about Beauty and the um, Sleeping Beauty for a second. The actual book. Um, I've never read it, but from what I understand, she was raped and had twins while she was asleep in the book, in the original story. I'm not gonna guarantee that because, as I said, I didn't read it, but, you know, I'm pretty sure that's probably what happened. But anyways, um, people are complaining because this particular character was gay in this book, or, um, no, he was, he's openly gay. <laughs> My opinion is if you watch the animated movie, there's always, there, there was always that one little guy that was basically man-crushing over Gaston and... I haven't seen the live action version, and I would have to watch them both side by side to compare, but I'm pretty sure the guy was always gay. Plus, you're gonna complain about that, but if if I figure out how to do it, I will pull up a picture. Um, there were these three, I don't know if any of you remember, but three uh, town harlots in the animated version that all had their cleavage hanging out. Um, and you could sit there and be like, oh, were well, they were just dressed like women of the time. Um, there were three of them, they were acting like bimbos, and they were dressed like prostitutes. But that's not sexual. That's not at all sexual. Um, in a children's movie. Plus, I don't know if the live-action one is entirely a kid's movie. Um, I don't know what the rating of it is. Pretty sure it's probably not gonna be G, like the one that Disney made. Um, I don't know if Disney's making this one or not. I'm not positive about that. Oh, they probably are. I don't know. But the thing is, why is it okay for them to animate titties and basically have harlots? Let's be honest. Those three girls were ladies of the fucking night. Because look at how Belle was drawn and how she was dressed and how everything was covered. And then look at how these three women were drawn in this animated movie. That's all I'm gonna say. They could have drawn these three girls just like Belle. They could have had her shoulders covered, their breasts covered completely. They could have had her there in, you know, they could have had them dressed just like her. <laughs> what, they weren't poor? Couldn't afford extra fabric to cover these? How many people that are reacting negatively to this? I, I just want to ask you why is one okay and the other one isn't? And also, my opinion is that character was always gay. I remember even being, I don't know how old I was. I think I was a little older than most people were because I'm 25 now. When I saw that movie, even as a kid, I was like, wait a minute, this is weird. This is because this is not in a time where bromances were heavily embraced or stage gay that bands participate in was heavily embraced. If you know what I'm talking about, you were a teen in 2005. Um, stage gay is when two people of the same sex, or different sex, or whatever, well, it's usually the same sex, obviously, but in a band, participate in romantic-type behavior only on stage for their fans' benefit, um, and to create some kind of stir, or whatever, and I'm, I'm like this, because if I'm like this, you can't see me. Um, this video is getting to be a bit long, but yeah, I just think that people are sitting there like, oh, well, he's just, there. yeah, there's people that are actually, oh, well, it's just a bromance kind of thing in the animated movie. I'm like, I don't know when it came out. I don't know if it came out in the 80s or the 90s, but it was not a period of time where bromance was a word that was used. Definitely not in relation to animated films, but I will leave you with those thoughts. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, it's raining outside. I don't even know, I'm just, I haven't been making a lot of videos lately because I just feel like shit. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, I will see you in the future. By the way, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out the links in the description. If I can find a way to put them in the description, because <laughs> I'm on the phone. But I will see you guys later.